Totally. Yeah. I think it's a, a totally, totally legit call for a, especially if you know nothing about wine. <laughs> <laughs> Wine wine number 20 something, much like myself. Uh, you guys probably know the drill by now. Uh, all of the wines we try to do, sometimes always, get on the Discord channel, you get a nice little discount, and we'll keep it sneaky through there. Uh, but let's not waste time, let's get into this. White wine, white wine, wine number one. White, and maybe there might be some bubbles. It certainly looks like it, surely. Like almost like a mango or like that style of fruit. You get some really sweet notes coming through on the nose. Italian neutral white grape variety. <laughs> it smells a bit like it smells a bit like this to be honest. But that's all I can really pick up. It's really, really quiet. It's almost got this like little bit of like a fairy floss thing going on. Like the sweetness of sherbet with without the real fit. Oh. It's an interesting one to try and describe. Bloody hell, it could be like a, a Grunewald leaner. It could be, it's a textural white. Let's go backwards. I think it's $35 a bottle because I think most of the wines are. I really like that. As much as I can't really smell a goddamn thing on it, I really like that. It's got this really savory, mealy kind of flavor to it. They're good, great, fun drinking wines. That's as far as I would sort of probably take it. All right. Number two, uh, we haven't had red wine for a few weeks. Yum, okay. Uh, so that is really familiar, but I can't put a word to it, uh, which is exactly what you want out of your wine YouTube commentator. Whole bunchy forest floor, like bright red cherries, perfectly ripe. It is, it smells absolutely unbelievable. Ah, yes, hello. Uh, I mean, if this isn't Pinot, then, you know, I don't know what is. It smells like amazing Pinot. And then it tastes really nice as well, which is the really helpful thing after all. But it's looking really good. Um, We're off to an expensive start. Uh, but I'm grabbing another 12 of this because this is a as pitch perfect of a Pinot Noir as you can probably get. Serious Pinot. Uh, benchmark, classical style, really well handled. It's not Pinot, I don't think. I th I think that it might actually be a really light bodied Syrah Shiraz type combo. So, and call it $45 and be very happy with yourself for doing so. Right, wine number three. This looks like a thicker red, a triple C thick. The last one only had two. Hello. Yeah. Uh, now, <laughs> that's cool. We've been very, very well treated here because it feels like they're trying to give us the most winemakery porn wines of all time. Because this is a really good Nebbiolo. Dude, that's dope. That's hardcore. Like, and I think it's the use of Slovenian oak gives a really interesting sort of blueberry liftedness to the nose. This more, looks more like juice. This looks more like paint. And let's see what the paint smells like. Kind of like what I imagine house paint tastes like. It's not the most tannic, but it, it feels like a really good entry level style. It is that really blue fruited, um, subtle kind of bitter tannins. If that is from, from any other place apart from uh, Barolo, I am very impressed. And whoever's made this has done an absolutely sublime job, um, if, if, especially if it's from Australia. A bit yeasty and brioche that's really cool. Back on the white train. Citrusy. I think this might have some Lees in it, so I'm just going to write that down and misspell it. L-E-E-Z. Feel free to flash. That's actually spelled here, lucky. Initially, when you see it, all these elements, you kind of think Chardonnay. You kind of go Leesiness, Batonage, bit of oak. There is a fruitiness on the palate of this wine that kind of like goes, oh, is that really Chardonnay? It's kind of funky Chardonnay. It does have this citrusy, and the Lees is... What I'm thinking, Lees, is it's almost like this sort of fermented, like, beery sort of like yeasty sort of vibe i don't know fruit weight and acidity is so lovely it's like lime and crisp green apple my dream fridge has got like a slot in the top right corner of it where there's just an infinite bottle of this where i can just go bang 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 all right fuck is this coppery like red bricky little number the bright red cherries, yada yada yada. Like heading towards the direction of maroon a little bit? I don't know, let's see. Oh yeah, 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 that smells lovely. Um, 
I'd like to bathe in this. That smells great. If I could smell like that all the time. Oof. Oh, it smells like trousseau. It smells like all gamay. Like done really, really like hands off. Um, yeah, fun, all right. This has got a certain richness to it that the other two, the other two didn't quite have. Uh, the other two reds that I'm talking about. So one, number two, and three. A uh, little bit richer, velvet nose. That was actually Noah's nickname in high school. Um, uh, but I'd grab three bottles of this. Good little chi chillable red. Um, I'd be happy to slam this down on a good, good warm day. Oh yeah. <laughs> So I'm just having a moment over here. That smells fantastic. <laughs> I don't even know what it looks like. I can't, I can barely describe that to you. It's, it's just really fun. It's just really fun. One number six. I'm glad I don't smell like this. <laughs> um, be reductive. Reduction is good, for me at least. But it's kind of like, it smells a little bit like a bike tire. Gorgeous, smells aged. It smells like it's got just a little bit of age on it. Maybe comes from a warmer vintage. Um, I don't know, it's just got a development uh, and an oxidativeness but without being oxidative or... Uh, it's got a feeling, got a vibe, got a vibe. I'm a fan of reduction. I think it's a, more often than not, that it actually adds complexity, but there is this the distinct kind of rubbery bike tire thing that runs over the wine. Flavor-wise, what do we got? It, it's another one that tastes a lot better than it smells. Lemon pithy, uh, it's not doing much for me. I think it's gonna be, it's not, it's by no, it's probably like my middle of the ground wine out of all of them. I just haven't got that much, I haven't got that many thoughts on it because it doesn't really stand out. This is one of those wines that just pushed one particular boundary a little bit too far. We'll see how we go. Um, I'm keen to see what everybody else thinks. Um, boys, how did we find this lineup? Because I thought it was, Pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Very variable. A lot of like ups and downs and highs and lows. Left and, and right. Yeah, and it, was, it was fun. It was roller good. coaster. Yeah. Couldn't disagree with you more. I thought that that was one of the most like pretty middle of the road lineups that we've had. And you know what? That's probably me revealing myself. But that's what I think. Henry, you just shouldn't reveal yourself to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, uh, I thought this was a pretty awesome little Chablis style Chardonnay. If it could, it could be Chablis, it could be something from the New World. I thought it was pretty awesome, to be honest. Like, what have we got? 50 bucks, exactly what oh, I wrote down. He's good. good, good, he's on the money. It's Chablis territory. Yes, it is. It's Sancerre! Oh my! It's Sancerre! <laughs> it's Sauvignon Blanc! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, what? that's cool. That is very cool. That's the most shabbily looking Savio Blanc I've ever seen. You do me a favor as the king of Chardonnay. Can you pass me my crown? Oh, <laughs> I can't reach it. All right. Yeah, look, it's got that really <laughs> mineral thing. I've had this one before and it's really great. And that's why, probably why I liked it so much. I still think I'd take a dozen of this. I think it's a delicious, delicious. <laughs> Number two. Uh, Yum. Absolutely pinpoint perfect little Pinot. Shit. Amen. Fuck oath. That is such a good wine. That is bang on Pinot. 12 bottles, please. <laughs> <laughs> what did you call it, dude? Not Pinot. That's oh, that was the, no. that was the thing. I'm just like, you know what? This isn't Pinot. Oh, <laughs> oh What do we got? Hey! hey! We're back. Please Rich. don't tell me it's true. Good Shiraz. Value. Good. Get your mouth and walk out. No, it's fine. It is. Oh. It says three. It's the dirty three wines. This is Pinot Noir. From uh, Yarra. Uh, right. Not... What? Southern Gippsland. Southern Gippsland, wow, punching. Excellent. That's awesome. Punching high, Gippsland. Yeah. That, 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 that sneaks on the radar. Tastes more like, you know, Marnborough, cool climate, like Adelaide Hills or something like that. Gippsland is a cooler climate, but it has the pedigree of somewhere a little bit more renowned. Three, uh, Brendan, I know you bought shitloads of this. I bought 12. <laughs> <laughs> I bought 12. I want to pay 60 bucks for it, and I reckon it's Barbera. What is this, Lockie? 50 bucks? Did I run down 50 bucks again? I read 40. Money. I 40. Money. Here we go. Dolcetto. Very interesting. Didn't didn't pick it as Dolcetto because so, I didn't think it had the structure. I went I awesome. went Michael Jordan. You went Scotty Pippen, Pippen. But here comes Steve Kerr. <laughs> There's something about the oak on it that I just like love. <laughs> like that Slovenian oak. Oh, I just man. love it. It's so seductive. Um, if, Yum. If you like Italian wines, you would be a fool not to buy this. Yeah, this that's is bonkers. Fucking awesome. That is bonkers. Number four, and this is where it starts to decline, but not as rapidly. Uh, uh, I thought this was delicious. I, I said half a dozen. Man. Uh, for about 30 bucks. I think this has leaves. 
Yes! Well done! Nice! Yeah, yeah, totally! It was the first Jesus thing I picked up. That's correct. Is he a batnaged? Uh, I think it's been batnaged. There's a bit of oak on the palette. I thought initially you kind of like jump to these conclusions that it's Chardonnay, but there's a fruitiness. There's a fruitiness to this. What is it, Lachlan? Got him. Uh, what if. Who... Okay, cool. Um, interesting. What is that? I have no idea what this is. That's hey, this is burgundy. No. This is, that's burgundy. No. So this is made for, and it's made for human with cooperation of the stars in accordance with spirits of the guaranteed as by dynamic, isn't it? <laughs> the fuck is this? Generic light red. Oops. That I enjoyed. I yeah, very much enjoyed. I moaned on camera when I smelled this. <laughs> in a good way. Was it a, I don't know. <laughs> was it, a, uh, it was an uh, enjoyable uh, moan, but I probably shouldn't have done it on camera. <laughs> Where's the lucky? 43. 43. Let's have a look. What's he got? It's Grenache. It's Grenache. There we go. Why is it Grenache? Let's go. Yeah, we go. Well hey, done. Or oh, just let me not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, over the top of my head. Uh, Vine Vale Barossa Valley Grenache. Uh, and that's why it kind of tastes the way it does, because it's probably picked early. And Before. Sierra Reed, yeah, Sierra Reed Mill um, uh, made this. She's uh, absolute amazing one. Like, actually, um, we worked together over in Italy. Yeah, absolute ledge of a chick. Wow. Yeah, wow. making dope wines. Well done. That's really fucking yummy. What's the what's the alcohol on that? Uh, Thirteen and a half. half. That's pretty tailored back for Barossa, uh, in, especially in twenty twenty. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty tasty. Awesome wine. Well done, Sierra. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, great wine. Can we talk about how this is definitely a pipe and a fucking weed leaf? What is sometimes always <laughs> doing? They're getting a little bit spicy in that little warehouse on Grace. How much will you want? It's all 420. <laughs> <laughs> final wine, final wine, final wine, final wine. Uh, we final we one. What did I, what um, did I write down for this? Uh, this was a little little shardy number, I think. I don't know. That's what I that's what I picked up from it. Um, what did we get, Loki? I, I liked it. Oh, Ooh, that's good value. Wait, nose. how many bottles do you get? I got six. Three. three. All right, middle ground. We're in the middle of the road. What have we got? Is that says a, um, F. Uh, F in the chat. Uh, Franklandia Frank Riesling. Riesling. Uh, Express, ex Express winemaker, so it is aged. Uh, that's the fucking lanolin thing. That's the reduction. Yeah. Um, for what was it again? What was the price? Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. That's pretty cool. I mean, look, cool. Franklin River is one of the best riesling regions in the country. Yeah. Don't at me. Um, but this is pretty. This is great for a little like um, back vintage riesling from that part of the world. That's cool. Um, well done. Well, well overall, that was one. actually a really great little lineup. If you look, looking back. Damn, I'm impressed. Great lineup, another great bunch of wines. Uh, grab them all and sometimes always, and we'll see you next week. Ciao. <laughs>